ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. It has been a good little minute, my friends. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode. And thank you, thank you, thank you for being an amazing person. And uh, you guys are awesome. We need to get down to business, as you can see in the background there. We got ourselves a... Excuse me, sir. We got ourselves a magma sword. So our original idea or the original reason for the magma sword to even begin with was so that we could get an abundant amount of stone to use for our house. Uh, if you guys see over here, last episode, we worked on our house a little bit. Um, You can see, well, it's, it's in a rendering distance. You can see over there, we started like mapping out uh, like the door frame or, or whatnot. But I have a change of heart, my friends. I have a change of heart. I do not want to build our base out of stone. I don't. I don't want to build the base out of stone and I want to build it out of metal. And you might call me crazy. I probably am crazy. Call me crazy because, my God, there's a lot of things over here. Call me crazy because I am crazy. But I want to build the base out of metal because I think at the end of the day, it'll probably look way better than stone does all right so for us to do that we need a lot of things we need a lot of things we're gonna have to have uh we already got a, a good uh a dinosaur to even farm metal like we got magma swords okay they're like one of the best things to farm metal so we got that however to make the metal walls you also need some minting paste if i can uh see any here no 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 no. what about my ingrams hold up hold up hold up give me a little bit as you get well that's a shield but for the foundation and for everything else you're gonna need metal which we got that's good cementing paste that's what we're lacking on and we don't have a way of getting a lot of cementing paste without it being annoying right um and a way that we would get cementing paste is just use a frog go get it easy but i don't want to do that i don't want to do that i want a cementing paste farm um and to put that into perspective my good friends if we search up cementing paste here you can make cementing paste by using chitin and stone Right, we already got a good way of getting stone and metal with the magma sword, so now we need a chitin farm. And to get us as a chitin farm, I'm gonna leave that a little bit of a secret, but it takes a lot of killing. A lot of things are gonna be dying to get this chitin farm up and going, okay? A lot of things are gonna be dying, and for us to get the lot of things gonna be dying, we're gonna need to tame like three different dinosaurs, with the first one being, uh, I, I wrote its name down somewhere around here. It's, uh, I didn't write its name down. It's the little, it's the, the dragon. Look, okay, hold up, hold up. Get, 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 uh, pause. Okay, so the dinosaur's name is the Mana Garmer. It's like a, it's a, it's a land, uh, uh, a land dragon and the frost. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? I, I, I probably even pronounce that, but we need that. We need that so we can kill things, so we can tame things, okay? It's, it's, all, it's all gonna come together, trust me on this. It is all going to come together. But that's that's our first goal for today, is to tame ourselves a Mana da da da. I'm gonna call it a Manga. Or manga. I'm gonna call it a manga. Our, our, our first goal is to tame a manga, okay? And these guys only spawn inside of the snow biome. I already got me a trap set up. Well, I don't have it set up. I got the resources for it. But we're gonna set this guy up. And as soon as we get there, you, I'm, I'm gonna come back. Let's just get there first. On my way over here, I found a Quetzal, which is a little bit interesting. I do want to tame one of these guys. Um, level 55, not max level, which is sad. But I still want to tame them because they're rare to find. Um, we're not gonna tame him yet, though. We, we just know he's here, which... You know in this general era he's like right here so i know we're exactly where he's at um but we're on a mission today and we can't get sidetracked by candy okay that's candy all right we're not a kid okay we are but yeah, we, we lag lag lots of it we can't get sidetracked that's probably because all the wyverns are being honest but we can't get sidetracked um we're here at the snow biome and i tried to put on the best snow gear that i had i know it's only hide and i'm only having 200 cold protection with 20 fortitude i don't know if i'm going to freeze to death here but there's only one way to find out and i mean we got the snowflake oh we're freezing to death okay it, it depends on how much it takes from us if it takes like a lot of damage from us then we might have to go find some organic polymore and make ourselves some fur armor because yeah how much is it taking from us i mean that's not a little that's definitely not a little. Ah, um, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult. Yeah, this is gonna be real difficult here. Uh, maybe I could stay in the outskirts and like, like I can make a trap over here and then like just find one of the dinosaurs and lead him to the trap. That might actually work because we don't need to make the trap like at the you know inside the snow area. We just need to find dinosaur in the snow area, right? So we might still be good maybe a big 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 maybe big maybe all right i'm gonna try to look around for this guy there's a lot of rexes here 
What level are you? 20? Nah. I'm going to try to look for this guy now. So I'll, I'll bring you guys back when there, uh, whenever I find him. So this was a lot faster than I thought it was. We found a few, actually. We found two of them. Um, There's one over here, which he's level 85. Whoa. Which isn't bad. Please don't start attacking me. And then we got this one, which is level 80. Uh, there's a lot of things out there. I want to say 85 as well. Um, I got to keep up with my health. Those are the only two that I see. Level 85 isn't bad, though. Wait, is there another one over here? Oh, my gosh. Like, see, you see why I want one now, right? You see why I want one. What, what level are you? You're... Uh, I, I, it's hard to believe they're both 85. I'm sorry. I just got, I got to figure this out, but they're flying everywhere. 80. Okay. So he's 55. All right. And then this little guy over here. Oh, there's two of them. 85 and a 60, I want to say. So there's three of them here. Okay. Three of them. What's my health at? All right. I think we're good. I'm going to eat a little bit. So there's three of them here. I do want to fly around just a little bit more. It's going to be really hard to get them to aggro on me, though. And they're like force them to go somewhere that might be a little bit difficult um i need to find some form of a flat area though if i'm going to tame one of these guys just for the just for the sake of the trap and as you can see there's barely any flat areas anywhere maybe over there over here doesn't seem bad it's got trees but it's flat oh there's even one over here be a high level be high level it's 90 that's the highest i've seen 90 is the highest I've seen. It's interesting. I like how I can hear him like making things cold, even though I'm nowhere near over there. And I'm also not taking any cold damage from in over here, too, which is not bad at all. I still hear the coldness, though, which is weird. Daydons. This is going to be risky because there's a lot of things over here that are trying to that are going to try to kill me. I wonder what happens if he, like, freezes me on a mount. That might be really bad. This looks gorgeous, by the way. Jeez. Okay, let's see here. So, we know we got some options right there. We know we got the level 90 right there. Which is really, really good. But, oh. Man, these things spawn like crazy. It shouldn't be hard finding a higher level one. That's, like, the, what, the fifth one we've seen so far? Oh, we're not cold over here either, are we? Yeah, we're not cold over Oh, yes, we are. Never mind. Take that back. Is a Yuli. Yeah, none of this area over here is flat, though. I'm thinking that area might be our best bet. I would love to find, a, like, a level 150. At least level 135 plus. Which I feel like we can. Maybe. Did I bring my... Okay, I got I got my Trank arrows with me. We're good. Okay, I could Tranquilize one. Knock him out and everything. Which is good. Uh, okay, we're going to be risky here. Go a little bit further out. See if I can find an even better one. And I don't know what happens when they chase you either. Which is even riskier, honestly. Ooh, look at that thing. It's got a ring on it. Not taking too much damage either from the cold. So I might as well get this, right? Even though there's a whole Rex over there. Yeah, he's occupied. Never know. You can find something good inside these things. And we didn't find anything good inside these things. Fascinating. I don't see one over here. It's an ice cave. There's one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What love are you? Hello? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh... It's level 55. I'd rather have the level 90. Don't see another one. All right. I'm telling you guys, these things spawn like crazy over here. Woo! That's what we need. That's exactly the one we want. That's exactly what we need. And that's going to be extremely hard to get. But we're over in... Oh, my... Oh, holy... Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. I'm going up. You can't go this high. You can't go this high. I hope. Oh, no. Our stamina. Oh, no. Oh, no. This might be really bad. This might be really bad. There's a Yuli right there. Oh, are we dead? 
I did not pay attention to my stamina. How can I not pay attention to my stamina? We just need a little bit to get out this area. We just need to land up there, get a little bit of stamina, get out this area. Hopefully everything's occupied. Can I like, come on, let's go that way. Oh my God, there's Daydons. Everything down here wants to kill me. Oh no, right in the middle, be occupied. Everyone get occupied for me. Keep going. Everyone just get occupied. Don't you know, pay attention to me. Land, land, land now. Okay, we're good. Get some stamina. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hello. I know you're scared. You're not going to attack me. Everything's good. We're fine. Everything's fine. We got our stamina. Okay. Woo! That could have been way worse. We got really lucky right there. We got really, really lucky right there. Really, really lucky. That's the 135, right? Okay, cool. Okay. Um, How are we going to do this? He's over there. We need to make the trap. Let's make the trap. Um... Man, I don't know. And I don't know how they aggro either. All this isn't flat ground and there's there's enemies everywhere. Like literally there's just things trying to kill you no matter where you go. No matter where you go, there's strings trying to kill you. And I'm I'm cold over here too. This is not good. Okay, I'm good right here, but ah uh, I can't make a trap right here. We're low on food. I might make a torch. I think we should make a torch just in case. Oh, I do have a tent though. Okay. Realistically, okay, I could use this tent while I'm taming him. Possibly. At least while I'm building the trap, I can use the tent, right? I can use the tent while I'm building the trap. Um, so I don't take damage from the cold weather. What about up here? Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. I think this is a good area. I don't see a lot of monsters. Um, it's getting nighttime, though. So we might have to wait out the darkness. But I don't see any monsters over here. Which is really nice. And the the, the, the dragons are over there. I keep calling them dragons. Mangas. The mangas are over there. Okay, we're good. I think we're going to build it here. Um, and I'll see you guys once we got our freaking stuff situated okay so i got my tent situation set up uh we lost half of our health we got six food on us for healing um which isn't looking so bright but i did kill a pterodon with my griffin and i got some meat cooking up in there um but we're gonna just stay inside of the tent until daytime probably um we should have some meat so we can heal ourselves and then after that we'll start clearing out the area and more than likely building the trap so yeah let's do this so traps been made um and i'm just looking around the area trying to find one and i, I stumbled across an iphone uh, an ice wyvern i was not expecting to stumble across an ice wyvern in this area um i've seen level 140 i've seen level 145 of the mangas but they all just seem to die by them by the uh the woolly rhinos um but look at everything here bro it's so much going on there's one it's so hard to get these guys to aggro on you because they'll just aggro on anything. Like, look at that. And then they'll die. It's like, like he's level, what, 25? So we don't want him. We do not want him. This guy's, where is he? Going to a Manta or level 25. See, he's about to die. Um, We just need a, I, I don't know how to do it. Oh, is that an Ice Wyvern fighting? Oh, no, it's not. He just looks like an Ice Wyvern. I do not know how to get aggro on these guys. Like, look at him. He's level 85, but he's about to die. He's already bleeding. He's pretty much dead. He's pretty much dead, if we're being completely honest here. It's just so hard. Once you, you find one, but they're fighting something, right? And it's like, how do I find one that's not fighting anything? And they get him to aggro on me and to follow me all the way to the trap. That's, that's the issue that we're having here. And I have no clue how to fix it, except just luck. That's the only way I know how to fix it is just pure luck and just luck. That's it. That's it. First, we got to get lucky to find a high level one. And then we got to get lucky enough that he's alone and not trying to kill something already. Like this guy. He's a level. I don't think those were double digits. Level 55 or triple digits, rather. Yeah, the, we've having a really hard, a really hard time trying to find one like this. They're everywhere, though. So look, there's two of them. Level 45, they're fighting level. Look, look what he's fighting. He look at what he's fighting. Are you aggroed on me? 
No, you're not aggroed on me. You're just flying above me. You're level 85. I mean, he is kind of alone. Can I get him to aggro on me? No, I can't. Look, it's so hard to get them to aggro on you. Aggro on me. I need at least one of you guys to just come at me. Try to kill me. Or something. It's... I don't know how to do this. Hello. Even if, even if I get a low level one at this point, it's like... Hello. Hey, you. What level are you? 55? Hey. Oh, yeah. You want me. Oh, yeah. You want me. Come on. Eat me. Don't eat the man. Yes, me. Me. They just want him. They literally just want him. They don't even want me. Well, AV5. The glare. I heard that it's easier if you get off your mount and then have one of them aggro you. And then they'll stay aggroed on you. I've, he I've heard that's like the easier way or whatever. I accidentally killed one. I should probably just not hit anymore. I do 200 damage. Yeah, I should probably just not hit anything. And I don't even know where the other one went. The other one probably died to the... To the yeah, the other one definitely died. This is very difficult. Um, I did not think it was going to be this hard. This is harder than Taming Rexus. <laughs> I'm going to keep on trying. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video on how to do this properly, but... Uh, this is extremely difficult. I'll catch you guys back when I get some some form of good luck. Okay, guys. I'm back. Do you see that? I, I was looking for man. A tech Quetzal 102. We have to tame this. We literally, it's literally mandatory that we tame him. I, I, I'm i sorry about the mana grabs. We'll come back. But this guy, he needs to be tamed. He needs to be tamed. How rare is it that you actually find? He's level 100. Okay. He's a tech Quetzal. He's not level 150, but he's a tech Quetzal. That's insane. We're taming this guy. We have to tame this guy. I'm sorry. I'm sad. I'm sad that I'm going off the of track here. Okay. I'm sad that I'm going off a of track here, but we have to tame this guy. I'm on the Griffin. It's the perfect time to tame him. We can put him inside the cryopod. I know I got a Rex out somewhere. He's just going to have to stay here because I really need, I really want this uh, Quetzal. I really want this Quetzal. We're, we're getting this Quetzal. Okay. We're getting this Quetzal now. We're getting it. I changed my mind. I don't think we're getting the Quetzal. I want him. He looks cool. I'll probably regret this, but it's going to take a long time for us to tame the Quetzal. Uh, I really want him. I think I'm going to wait until I can get the net gun. I think I can get the net gun eventually, right? Net gun. I don't even know what it's called. Nets or gun. Um, Let's see here. It's something, something with a net, right? Net, For the net projectile. We're gonna need this eventually. Uh, but I'm, I'm a wait. I'm a wait. Ah, uh, it's gonna suck letting him go. But I really need, I really need the manga. I really need the manga. It's gonna suck letting him go. But I really need the manga. We're gonna focus on the manga. Okay, right, guys, I've made decisions. The first decision I made is we're not taming that Magnum yet. Okay, it keeps atta attacking everything in area and then just insta dying. And I figured that it would be extremely difficult to get one to. Is that an Alpha Wyvern? No way, that's an Alpha Wyvern, right? No way, that's an Alpha Wyvern. I figured it would be extremely difficult to get one to even follow us in the first place. So we're just kind of just we're just kind of just not gonna do that just yet. But the reason why I wanted to get ourselves a Magnum is so we could get woolly rhino horns so we could tame ourselves a manta that's our main goal right now is to taming ourselves a manta so i think what we're going to do instead is we're just going to get the woolly rhino horns just from the griffin because the griffin can easily just kill woolly rhinos collect the horns for us and then we'll get the manta and we'll come back for the magma but i think we might tame that tech quetzal um depending on the area it lands and i need him to land in the area like really far away not in the water but if he lands over here he's just gonna die there's no point if i can even find him again um if we can i think that's the play that's the move and that's what we should do for sure um and yeah that's what we're gonna do all right let me see if i can actually find him real fast though also turns out that was an alpha that is a level 100 alpha wyvern which is insane i've never seen an alpha wyvern before 
Wow, that is insane. Whenever we get ourselves our own wyvern, we're going to try to take that guy down. We just got to get ourselves one because I'm, I'm not going to take on a level 100 alpha fire wyvern on a griffin. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Even if I do kill it, I don't want the levels to go on this griffin. I would much rather just get myself like a high level wyvern, come back, take that guy down. And next thing you know, I got me like a super duper beast wyvern or something like that, you know? So that's the plan. Um, but it's super dark and I have no clue as to why. There we go. I don't know why that happens inside the snow biome. I'm trying to find my way back to my base because I need to get my griffin back. Um, and the Quetzal was also in that area. Um, but yeah, guys, taming one of those magmas, bro, or mangas, it's going to be a pain. They, they literally attack everything. My theory, I was watching a little bit of YouTube videos and my theory was that I could get our uh, snow isle. So pretty much, okay, let me, okay. So pretty much to tame one of those guys, you could do it with a trap if you can get him to argue, uh, uh, aggro you. But we cannot get one of those guys to aggro us. So what we're going to have to do is pretty much kill everything it's aggroed on. And then the only thing that's going to be left is us, right? So the plan is to just find one, get a snow owl, and have the snow owl freeze everything in the like area that he's trying to attack. Kill everything he's trying to attack. And then we could just tame him like that. That's going to be the general plan. I wonder if there's any dinosaurs that can actually pick this guy up. If there's dinosaurs that we can get to pick him up, oh my gosh, that would be so much easier. I wonder if a wyvern could pick one of those up. Or even a Quetzal. I'm going to do some research on that. Because if so, that would be incredible. I want to say our wyvern is... Not our wyvern, but uh, our griffin is somewhere over here. I need that griffin. There he is. The reason why the griffin is over here is because we died. We have to come back. Uh, we used our backup griffin to come back, but... um. If only they would spawn over here, like there's literally nothing over here that's trying to kill them. I also got a T-Rex over here, but I think I'm just going to keep the T-Rex over here just for absolutely no reason. Um, I have plenty of T-Rexes, so I don't mind keeping one here just in case we do need to come back over here. Unless he's about to die. He might be about to die. Oh, he killed a woolly rhino. That's actually really good considering the fact that we kind of need those. We'll let him do his thing. Actually, I might, I, I should probably help him out, actually. Just for the sake of making this faster. Killed something. You good, bro? Alright, yeah, you're good. Oops. I cannot see in this darkness. It's very dark. And What's that noise? Oh. Very dark and I don't like it. You got any woolly rhino horns for me? You got a lot of those. I need a lot of those. Wow, you actually don't have any woolly rhino horns for me. I'm very sad that you don't have any woolly rhino horns for me. There's some attack damage. Well, that blows. Um, we're just going to have to find our own then. In that case, hey, can you... Uh, come over here, down here, somewhere. Thank you. We're just going to have to find our own. Um, and we'll just go from there, honestly. Either that or we have to uh, we have to tame a snow owl, which I've never tamed a snow owl before. And uh, considering the fact that how crazy everything is over here, that might not be to play. I got to also stay away from the Yulis. Yulis are dangerous. I do see a woolly rhino down there, but look at like, look what else you see down there. You know what I mean? There's so much more down there. I might take on that one that's taken on the Rex. Might as well. Probably kill his Rex easily, especially if he's low level. Uh, no, where's the Rhino? What happened to? We didn't collect anything, did we? No, I don't know where that Rhino went. I think the Rex killed the Rhino. This is, this is so hard for no reason. Okay, we might try a different method. I'm gonna keep trying this method just a little bit, and if it fails, then we're just gonna try a different method. We're just gonna try a different method. Maybe we'll see what we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I caved. I'm sorry, but I caved. Um, here's the plan. I got myself three Rexes. We are going to go death warm hunting instead because I feel like that's easier than the woolly rhinos. Um, I'm pretty sure three Rexes are going to be able to take down a few death warms so we could use that to tame ourselves a few mantises. Okay, we just need a female and a male mantis. We're not really care about the levels. Uh, we just need a female and a male so that they can make more. And then once they make more, we're, we're pretty much goaded from there, right? Um, now, on my way back home, I spotted two tech parasaurs, which we also need 
for another project that we're working on. However, they're in a very weird spots. So I'll be honest, they are in very weird spots and it's raining and I can barely see anything because it's raining, which is annoying. But I remember the general area that they were in, which was up here. Um, I was going to make myself some bolas, which I completely forgot to do, which I need some fiber. Should be pretty easy to get here, somewhere around here. Here we go. All right. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button number two. Wow. Here we go. But yeah, um, I know one of them is going to run away because they're right next to each other. Now, the bad thing is there's Rex is looking dead in the eye of them. Okay, which is horrible. However, there's nothing else over here that's trying to kill them. These are the two tech parasaurs that I need. I need them. Now, I don't know if I hit one. Will it run away from me? I'm hoping it doesn't. What I hurt. I do not get off my mount. Got it. Um... But I need both of these guys. Now, I'm just hoping that if I bolo one, they're not moving, surprisingly. And I don't have a dinosaur to pick them up. Unless I had a Quetzal, that would work, but I don't. So, we don't have a dinosaur to pick them up. I'm going to try to get this one first. Well, which these are really high level ones, too. Like, this one's a level 180 or 68. The other one's 156. Like, that's pretty crazy, right? I'm going to try to get this one. This little guy right here. So let's get the bola out. One bola should be enough. Oh, you're moving. All right. You're trying to protect him. There we go. Yeah. And then he starts running, which is, which sucks. But I need to knock this one out. I'm sorry, but I need to knock this one out. He can run. We're just going to have to find him later on. I'm hoping that I don't do a lot of damage to this dude, though. Starts dying. Or he gets away. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how long this bolo is going to hold up. All right. There we go. We knocked him out. All right. Um, He's in a safe area for the most part. I'm going to try to find that other one. I also need to find myself some more berries because four Miho berries isn't going to cut it. So while we're doing that, I know that the other one ran. Okay. There he is. Right here. This is you, right? There's no other tech here, right? Yeah. This is you. The only bad thing is there might be a Rex. Yeah, there's a Rex over there, which is fine. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, come on, Griffin. Work with me. Here we go. Is that a Rex? That is a Rex. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to knock this guy out before the Brontosaurus dies. Come on. Get knocked out. Here we go. And then we're going to have to kill this Rex or something. They're just like mad close. Let's, okay, okay. I don't think I can, I'm can. i going to be able to kill that Rex. I'm just hoping that the Brontosaurus and the Spiners are going to have to do it for me. That's what I'm just hoping. I don't think I have time to kill the Rex. We need to get some... Uh, we need to get some, some berries real quick from anywhere. I want to go far from that area so that I'm out of the render distance and like things can just pause while I'm going over here and getting some berries. At least that's what I think will happen for the most part. Take out all the compies. All right. Whoa. Um, excuse me? What are you doing? Get back down here. Not the best way of getting berries, but it's the only way I got right now. What are you doing? Stop doing that. I don't know what you're doing, but stop doing it. What do we got? We got nine mehills. I mean, we don't really need, like, we just need to tame them. So any berries work, even if they're not Miho berries, any berries work, realistically. You're having a really hard time going to the spot that I want you to go, aren't you? Are you even following my directions? Hello? There we go. Are you good now? Now hop up. Why, why are you doing this? Why are you, what are you doing and why are you doing it? I, I'm i baffled right now that you're doing this. Okay. I'm going to get off you, but I have to like actually get off you because I'm not trying to fly up there. Um, follow me. Follow, hello? Hello? I don't 
know what he's doing. <sighs> he's definitely not following me, that's for sure. Um, a little scary. I don't know. I'm gonna keep on collecting my berries. He's standing still for the most part, which I guess is fine. But that's weird. Very weird, in fact. You're fine up there, right? Oh, holy sun glare. Okay. Can you come down? Can I, so I can ride you? Can you come down so I can ride you? What are you gonna do when you get here? You're gonna fly. Where are you going? You're just gonna go in a circle? Is he trying to attack something? No, he's not. He's just tripping. I'm gonna go back home. I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe it's this area or something, but uh, that's not normal. I don't think that's very normal. Either way, they're still unconscious, which is good. They're not losing health, which is even better. We need both of these guys, so... I'm hoping we could do this, and I'm also hoping that uh, when we get over there, my griffin doesn't try to just run away for some very weird reason, especially if there's Rexes in the area. I'm going to try to get the one at the top. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Just because of what's going on down there with that battle, I should probably try to get this guy first. And yeah, he's running away. Okay, we'll just let him do him. Um, here's some Miho berries, some regular ones. I'm going to insta chiropod you. Nice. I don't know what I'm calling you W, but that works. All right. Nice. One down. One to go. You finally decided to find somewhere to land, which is actually good because I need to ride you. Um, Can I land up here? Awesome, that works. And, uh, hmm. That sucks the Miho Berry situation, but, uh, here. Here's some red and blue berries. That'll be enough for you, right? 26? What's your hunger at? Oh. Might be enough. Hoping it'll be enough. Yeah, it'll be enough. You're fine. Nice. 250. That is a juicy parasaur i want to actually want to see your stats 1300 400 melee damage bro four freaking hundred that's 400 melee damage is insane it's a barrier gather if i've ever seen one 400 melee i gotta see the other one too i'm gonna drop these guys back off at the house real quick they're definitely gonna be useful for a future farge because ours um but i do want to get these mantises as well so definitely need to do that as well Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm just happy the Rexes didn't uh, interfere with that. But this is actually really, really good. I was not expecting to just find two random tech parasaurs quite literally right next to each other. One being a female, one being a male. We're going to be able to... I, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm sorry. It's not getting spoiled. You're just, you're just going to have to see for yourself in the future episodes. It's not getting spoiled. It's not getting spoiled, okay? It's not getting spoiled. I see you guys back when we're at the desert because that's the next place we're going. The desert. All right, so we're here in the desert bi uh, biome, um, and my theory is that I will just drop the Rexes down, and then things will just... The the, the, the desert worm is just going to come out of nowhere and just try to fight my Rexes, and then I'm going to get a I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a horn. Um, and then I could just use that to tame the... Uh, the, 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 the what you call it? The, these guys. What do, you, what, do you, what do you call these guys? Mantises, yeah. Use those guys to tame the Mantises, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that there's really nothing much to it except Rex. I just kind of grabbed just any random Rex that I had. I have so many now that I don't even care the ones that I do have. I don't want to run out, of course, but hey, Rexus. Um, and I do kind of want to ride one while I'm doing this. I just don't know what to do with my Argentavis, which I guess I could just cryoprod him. Not Argentavis, but the... Uh, the griffin here and i did bring a saddle just nice i should probably level these guys up just a little bit mainly on the melee they got a they have really low health i just realized just realized how low their health is oh my gosh why do you have so many levels sheesh you already got ten thousand health let me get you up to like 15 let's go to 20 yeah you're gonna be the main hitter i'm gonna ride you i'm not gonna ride this guy 
Because you might actually die. I'm going to ride you. Alright, and then... I'm just going to Carl Pot my Griffin. And we're going to take a nice little stroll with the Rexes. See if we can get ourselves a Death Worm to spawn. Hopefully we can. Because that will be... Oh, wait. I've got to tell you guys to follow me. Did you get that? No. Okay, you got that. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah. Now we're just. Uh. I guess we're just leaving it up to RNG now. Let's actually probably walk more towards this way. We're just gonna leave it up to RNG now and uh, some Rexes. I mean, um, some Death Worms. All right. Let's do this. So I ended up taking the T-Rexes out, finding a little bit of Death Horns, and uh, we're gonna go back to them later, but it is time, my friends, so us we can blah, 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 so we can tame the mantis. Oh my gosh. Being in the desert drinks up your water like crazy. But I got a, I got I already tamed one mantis. I got ourselves a level 29 female. Now I do wanna get ourselves a high level male, just because I want a high level male. Okay. And I want to play around with the mantis a little bit because I know that they can like equip swords and everything like that. It sounds really cool. So I want to play around with mantis and I don't want the mantis that I'm playing around with to be a low level mantis because that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. But the tamed is level 29. We had 19 of the deaf worm, deaf worm horns. Um, so it took three of those guys to tame a level 29. So I'm not really sure how much it's going to take for a high level one. And I can pretty much show you guys the taming process as well since we're here. Um, as soon as I could find a high level one, that's the trap over there. It's super duper simple, super easy to make, might make a video on it. Who knows? Um, probably, but I'll show you guys it in action. As soon as I can find another, uh, another little guy here, which I believe that I should probably start killing things inside of the area. Maybe to get some of them to spawn, but my man's is really overweight here. Let me, I'm just going to drop all of this. I don't really need any of it. It's going to drop all of it. I just need a at least a level 135 or higher and i'm not seeing any of them well there's one over there fighting gulchers i guess Nah, that's not gonna cut it you look really pretty but you're not gonna cut it what about you Nah, he's he's killing everything or at least i think everyone's fighting the vultures i don't think they're fighting themselves the hard thing about taming the mantises though is you have to pretty much not have anything inside the area like it it can only be the mantis and that's it oh snap it's getting hot i hate when it gets hot is there a heat is there a heat wave coming on here or, or whatnot and i'm running out of food or meat um yeah let's i'm, I'm gonna figure out the situation so we don't die out here and uh, i'll catch you guys best once i find a high level mantis all right so i'm back guys it's getting a dark time inside of the the desert biome here but i think we should be fine i got a little bit lucky here um with the spawn so i got a level 100 male right there we need him there's also a level 130 female I just saw her. I think that's her right there in the grass. Uh, yep, level 100 or oh, level 140 female. There's also another high level right there, level 130, beating up the Dodicarus. Um, we need this level 100, so we're probably going to build a trap around this area and try to lure her inside of the trap. Um, at least that's the idea. And since I'm here, I could go ahead and teach you guys how to actually make this trap as well. I'm just hoping no deaf worms come about and try to take us out. There's nothing here but the water beetles, which is actually really, really good. Um, so the first step of this trap is to build our foundation. Then next, we're going to put our door frame so that we can walk through that. We're going to build two walls up high, just like here. And then finally, you're just going to put in your ceiling. And then when the mantis gets in this area, you're just going to put a wall up. And then you fly away and you come back in and you can tame, which honestly... The mantis is ready for us. So now we have to take you. We got to get her to follow us. It has to be, she has to be following like the character per se, not really the griffin, if that makes any sense. So I got to line her up just like this. And then we have to lose aggro. And then we have to walk to her on the character. See, did we lose aggro? Kind of did. This still might work. Let me see. I'm going to land here. Get the wall out, get right in front of here. Hopefully she just runs just like that. And then we just have to come around the back, I guess. And we, we, we pretty much have to place that down as soon as we can. Now it's a little bit hard because of the, 
the leveled ground that we're on. So we might actually have to pick this up um, and place it back down. I'm going to try it again. Just in case. I would love to just lose aggro on her, but. Where's she going now? Go right in front of here. Get the wall out. It's just really hard to like keep her in there. Let's see here. Nope, nope. I think you're on. Oh shit. Not a Titan Boa. Ah. Uh, let's get the Griffin back down. I don't think they actually do damage to the walls. There we go. There we go. I might actually have to kill that Titan Bow. This is a little bit difficult just because of like how it's set up, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I'm pretty sure she doesn't do damage to walls. Whoa. Is this a level high? Is this a high level one? No, this is bad. This is actually bad. It's you can't tame two at the same exact time. So I have to. See if I can pull one away, since this one's on me. Pull you away, lose aggro on you, try to tame that level 100 back again. So I'm going to try. Even if she is doing damage to stone walls, it's probably not a lot, realistically. Come here, come here. I want to try something. I want to see if I can like, actually sneak up behind her while she's hitting the walls. See if I can tame her that way. Don't know if that'll actually work, but I do want to try it. Thought I saw something. I did. There's a mantis right there. What level are you? 95? Meh. Okay, I'm going to try that, though. I'm going to get a few... Get half of these guys out. Because they do weigh a lot. They weigh a lot. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to try to get out of render distance with her real quick. And then we'll go back down there. Okay. See how she lost aggro? Which, honestly, I don't know if that was the play, but she lost aggro, which is fine with us. Um, see if I could just take out them real quick get them out the situation i do kind of want to just pick this back up and put it on flatter ground but i want to try again and see if i can do it i think if i run through there and just get hit place the wall down and then go through the door frame i think that might work actually so i do want to try that real fast i don't think i'm gonna die if i take just one hit or so yo there we go there we go come this way That's good. Losing aggro is actually good for us. Okay, so. Put the griffin about right here. Take the wall out. Because when I'm standing here, it's like impossible for me to place that wall down. I can't even go through here like normal. Come through, come through. Come through a little bit more. Mm, it's not going to work. Oh, wait, I just had it. Ah! Fuck, bro. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, we're just going to have to... Um, we're going to have to... We're going to have to pick it up. We're going to have to pick it up and place it back down somewhere else. That's just what's going to happen. All right, I'll see you guys back once that actually happens. So I might have thought of a mini solution. Instead of making a whole new trap, I kind of just turned it around. <laughs> I kind of just turned it around. They're right there, which makes this a lot easier, actually. Um... Because I could just stand right here and just place it just like that, right? So, if I can get them to aggro me. There we go. Can I jump up here? Uh-oh. Okay, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. So, we need them to come right into here. Just not like that. Come on. This is... Uh, Ah, uh, sigh. Oh, shit. Perfect. In the hole. 
Oh, you actually can't walk up here. So you actually can't walk up there because of the slope. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to remake it. Okay, so I remade the trap over here and he's actually already on his way. It's perfect, just... Ah, uh, wrong one! Holy crap! Get back down here. Please, please, please get back down here. Woo! This way, this way. I think I have him on passive flea. Which is a little bit annoying. But it's fine. Okay, we can get him. We can get him. We've been trying to get him for this entire time, but I think this is a good location for the trap. Hopefully, it's a good location for the trap because the other one was also over here, but I don't see the other one anymore. So that might be a murder. But anyways, that should be a good lineup. For the most part, I think he's probably going to go after that vulture in a minute here. Pretty much do this, get off, get our wall up, and we wait and hope that the bugs don't try to be bugs. Soon as the gulcher's dead. There we go. Eat the gulcher. Eat the gulcher. All right. Excuse me? Do I have to shoot you, bro? Definitely missed that. Uh, there's nothing over there. I actually don't understand why. Uh, why aren't you aggroed on me now? Well, now you're aggroed on me. I think you're aggroed on me, right? Don't want the scorpion. Yeah, you're definitely aggroed on me. Once you get close enough, I'm assuming you'll attack. We run a little bit here. I have tranquilize arrows on. I did not know that. Still trying to eat the gulcher, which is not working out well for him. Maybe I should just take out that gulcher. Because it doesn't seem like he's even able to eat him, to be honest. Okay, let me let me get my uh I don't feel like dealing with these animals here, okay? We're not gonna deal with them. Just gonna get the griffin. There we go. Take you guys out. Oh, he finally took out the uh, the gulcher. Nice. Why are you running from me? Come on, come here. What love are you? Because I might just kill you if you're a male. Female. I need both of you, to be fair. And they're both in the same exact area. Trying to eat a vulture. Come on. I don't need both of you at the same time, though. Why are you running from me? That's the... Whoa. What just happened? Where am I? Okay. Um, it was weird. That was really weird. For some reason, we just quite literally got teleported all the way up. Okay, that's scary. I don't know what to think about that, but I don't want to touch the ground anymore. I don't want to. I don't know if it's because I was touching the ground, but I don't want to touch the ground anymore. I don't. Um, I want both of these. Okay, we're, we're just going to continue, I guess. I mean. That was scary. Okay, you're after me, not the vulture, which is what we want. Okay, nice. Nice, even better. Um, vulture's after me, though. I think might be fine, to be frank. Ah, this is a weird lineup. It's because of the vultures, man. I feel like if I hit one vulture, they'll all come after me, which is annoying. I'm going to eat this vulture for you because I know you want them. Okay. Scorpion's on me now. Okay. Good, great, awesome, phenomenal. You're on the vulture. 
Come back down, please. And while you're... Why are you over there? Of all the places you could be. Oh my gosh. Ah. I do not need both of you guys. Ooh. Okay. That's fine, I guess. We're still going to try this regardless. Even if he's right there. Okay, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this shit, Grandpa. Why can't you guys just be, like, active teams? Why do you have to be a passive team? <sighs> now I gotta go make a new door frame. I would be right back. So I want to say I ended up getting a little bit lucky here. There's a Mantis right over here. Level 145 female, which is beautiful. So I went ahead and made another trap. And it's on flat area, flat ground, right? I can easily just place that down. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try this once again. I just got a spot where the mantis was. I want to say they were walking over this area, but we have to keep them in the line of sight. Uh, there they are. So there's no bugs around, nothing. Uh, there you go. You got aggro. Got aggro. Let me line it up. I'm going to jump any moment now. Get my wall out. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right? Yes, we're good. Finally. Finally. We still need to get ourselves a male. So we got to keep that in mind. We still need to get ourselves a male. Um, But we got ourselves a female. A, a higher level female, which is really, really good. Um, As long as I got me a high level, like... A high level team, I'm happy. So now what we have to do, we have to get them outside of render distance because they're just beating on that wall right now. We're not going to be able to passive tame them. So once they're out of render distance, this should be far enough. I need to go back. I have the horns inside of here. Eight should be good. And then we will simply walk over here. They're not going to be hitting anything. As you can see, they're not hitting the walls or anything like that. And then we could simply walk up to them. Ah! No, we can't do it now. Well, maybe we can actually. There's like, you got to get their hitbox. I might have to go back away, possibly. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Ooh, maybe I have to. No. Yeah, I got to go back away and come back. It's like they have to not be aggro. They can't be angry. If they're angry, it's not going to let you feed them. So you have to do it when they're not angry. Um, You got to be a little bit more careful so that they actually can't see so, you. Know, dehydrate. So I'm going to go get some water and then I will come back. All right, I am back now. Got myself some water. And I want to make sure that the early... I'm going to try to see if the mantis can just not see me this time around. Like right now, they're calm, which is really good. Get our death horns. And I'm going to go around the backside this time. Oh, I feel like they would be able to see me maybe. Maybe I have to crouch just a little bit. Oh, you see right there? Feet death warm. I'm just spam E. Go around this side. No. Right. It's right there. Did I do it? No. There we go. Nice. And that is how you tame a maintenance. It's very annoying, but that's pretty much how you do it. So I'm going to pick up this wall. We got ourselves a level 217 female mantis. I was about to say male there. Female mantis. Now we just got to get ourselves a male mantis. And this male mantis is not to be high level. This only took one death warm out of me, by the way, which was actually super surprising. Considering the level 27 took like three or whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much how you guys do it. Um. We're going to need a, a male now. Now, there was a mantis. Let's see here. There was, oh, 
Here we go. There's a few mantis around. Level 60 female, we don't want that. Another female, we don't want that. Another female, we don't want that. I want to see if that level 100 might still be over here. I doubt it. Unless this is you right here? No, that's a 140 female. Oh, wait a second. I think he is. Yeah, he's still over here. So, let's see here. We could... I still want to try taming him. We could lure him in the front. Take out this mantis and this little centipede thing here. So we don't need them alive anymore. We got ourselves a level 217 female. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to take up everything. My weight looking at. Oof, my weight is horrid. Of course it is. Look at what I'm carrying. All right. How should I do this, actually? It sucked because <laughs> I put it right in front of a rock. I don't know why I did that. Um, Maybe I can... Mm, nah, I was going to say maybe I can switch it around, but that's not going to work at all. I'm just going to have to lure, lure him over here, I believe. Hey, buddy. Here we go. Leap of faith. Nice. Follow me over this way. Nice. One more leap of faith for me. Nice. That should be good. He's not aggroed on the... I don't think he's aggroed on us anymore. Yeah. Right. Oh, I forgot this was like... Okay. <laughs> forgot that was like that. Um, Yeah, he's not going to go in there. Ouch. Which is fine. Because I do have some extra dwarf frames on me. I just got to get him off of... Like, not aggroed on me anymore. So I can actually place it down. Might be a little bit difficult because I think he was stuck on that rock. He's still aggroed on us, which is good, but bad at the same time. There we go. Okay, he's aggroed on something else now. Okay, so let's fix this real quick, which shouldn't be too difficult. I just got to do that, and that's pretty much it, and we're ready now. Okay, let's go get him. And he's fighting Gulchers. I hope he doesn't die. Because if he does die, that would suck. Because you don't really have another male. Oh my gosh, he freaking died. Death to Gulchers. Okay, uh, Vultures, rather. We need a new male. Um, You're female, aren't you? You're the 140. Uh, yep. I'm going to try to find another male. And if I do, I'll see you guys back when I do. So I ended up finding a male. It's a low level male, which makes me a little bit sad, but we should still be fine. It's a level 55 male fighting a level 100 Gulcher right now. Hopefully he doesn't die. But there's also another one, which is a female level 130. We only want the male. Um, and the male is having fun with the female right now, which I'm pretty sure they're going to win that battle. But... It's going to be difficult getting the female off of the male. Unless they just wander. As soon as that vulture is dead. We do have a trap right there, which is the ideal one to use. Um, might be a little bit difficult, though. I'm going to see if I could probably take out the scorpion while I'm here. He's got to die. Um, they're... Going their separate ways already, which is nice, actually. Um, let's see here. It's actually really nice. Oh, there's a Titan Boa. Gotta take out the Titan Boa. His Titan Boa is gonna annoy us. There we go. Uh, this might be a little risky, but I'm gonna try it anyways. I don't wanna get too close because they're. 
the aggro range is actually kind of high. Where, where are they going? I don't see him anymore. I know there's a vulture over there, but... Okay. That's the male. Freak. Okay. And it just got hot, too. Woo! What's my damage looking like? I'm not taking too much damage right now. It's good. I wonder if I could just kill the female like this. Probably not. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the lunge. I think I could still trap him. Oh, I think I did it. Oh, I'm about to die, though. I'm so dead. Um, excuse me. Oh, there you are. Uh, I think I did it. Uh-oh. I did it! I actually did it! <laughs> I actually was able to trap the, uh, the dude. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting be, uh, to actually be able to do that. Okay, let's go away. <laughs> that's so insane. I was able to trap him and not the female. That's so lucky. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky. Okay, I'm gonna go away for a little bit because it's hot. I'm not trying to die out here. Um, going to have to refill my water soon anyway. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And then I'm gonna tame him and uh, I'll see you guys back once that is actually done. Turns out all I had to do was put the shirt on that I had and uh, we're good now. So we're not dying from uh, heat. And I drunk some water so we should last a little bit longer out here. Once we get this guy, we're just going to head straight back home. We don't want to spend too much time out here anyways. Go. Boom. There it is. All right. Let's go home. <laughs> let's go home. I'm ready to go home. I spent way too much time out here in the desert. I'm ready to go home. Let's get a little bit of you. There we go. I am a little bit overweight. I'm going to drop some stuff back here. It's like my second time in the desert. The first time we were here, we were taming a thylacolio. So I know I got a thylacolio sitting around here somewhere. It wasn't the better version of the thylacolio, but it's nevertheless, it's a thylacolio. Okay. Um, we're going to have a bunch of organic polymorphs. I'm not even going to worry about that. I got all my rexes. I got... All three of the mantises. Just realized. <laughs> um, what's your weight looking like? You fly? Oh, yeah. You could definitely fly. As soon as I drop all this, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. I'm going to head back home, and I'll see you guys back once I get there. All right, guys. So I made it back home, and I was thinking about a little bit of things. I was thinking about a little bit of things. First and foremost, a little bit of updates. Um, our parasaurs have been going at it as you can see we got ourselves a third parasaur which is absolutely wonderful we're gonna need a lot of these guys um like a lot so i'm just gonna keep them mating for now like a lot of them um i'm, I'm not sure of the exact amount that we'll need of course there's another one two more eggs which is awesome they just incubate like i just leave them out here and like they just automatically just kind of incubate and uh and and hatch really um at least I think they do. Egg incubation, 92%. That one's at, like, what, 100? So that one's about to hatch, which is awesome. We're going to need some high-level parasaurs here, which we could definitely use for some berry gathering um, because I really don't have anything else for berry gathering except the parasaurs. So, hey, that's a W. We also need to get the saddle because that's going to get a little bit congested. We got a parasaur. Our old one is down there. Got to get the saddle off that guy. Um, but, yeah, we need to do the exact same thing with the mantises here, which... I will be doing right now. Uh, so we got, this is our female. Enable mating on you. And I might as well just do the higher level male. I mean, it doesn't make sense not to do the higher level male. So like that. Um, I want to keep this mantis on you. The level two and the 17, I want to keep that one on me. Um, and use other females for mating because I want the level 217. But we're gonna need the we're gonna we're gonna need to map out the area a little bit to make this trap of ours. Where's our where did our griffin go? Here we go. Um, I was thinking about a little bit, thinking about the layout of the grounds that we have here and the plans that we're going to be putting here. Um, and I'm honestly thinking about putting the traps right in this area, mainly because you just have this rock here. 
right? This rock kind of acts as its own wall, and we can maybe just have a doorway going like here, coming to here, and then you just got the traps along this wall. Um, I'm not, I'm, I don't know how many I'm going to actually make, but I think this would be a good little bit of a starting area if you will for them anyway. So that's going to be the plan for the most part. And more than likely, I'm probably going to restart, not restart, but going to redo them eventually, make them out of metal, make them a little bit cleaner, make them a little bit better. But for now, we just need the chitin um, out of these little farms or whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start making that. And once it's done, I will check you guys back later. Hopefully we'll have a shit ton of mantises. All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm pretty much done with the farm. Now, I will say this is the quite literally the bare bones of this type of farm that I want to make. I'm going to remake this entire thing once I get the metal production up and running. Um, but this is pretty much the bare bones of the farm. And the way that it works is I have a bunch of mantises here. Um, I got like, I want to say three females, two males. Um, I know it's not the exact ratios that I need, but that's pretty much what I got. And then the eggs, they, uh, the eggs pretty much drop down in there. And then the babies, they grow up into, uh, adults. And there's, I want to say maybe like five or so adults in there so far. Um, and then whenever I want to, I just set this little saber tooth here on aggressive. He ends up killing all of the mantises and, uh, he pretty much gets all of the, all of the loot from killing the mantises. Now I will say that I want to say that the saber tooth is probably not the best bet as far as, uh, collecting resources from other animals. I do have my Thylacolio with me, and I noticed that my Thylacolio collects a lot more versus the Sabertooth, and I think it has something to do with the attack of my Thylo. My Thylo has 700 damage versus the Sabertooth, which is just 100. So either I would have to find a super duper nice level Sabertooth, which that guy was only level 100. Uh, when I got him, my, my Thylacolio was 140 something. You know what I mean? But that's a that's we're looking at a 125 level difference here. Um, but the reason why I don't use a Thylacolio is because it's too big. If I put it in here, whenever he's attacking these guys, he'll also attack the ones, uh, at the top, which I don't like. Um, and that's mainly reason why I don't use a Thyla. So I would have to raise this up by one or just use a smaller dinosaur. But I plan on remaking this entire design just out of metal, just to make it look cleaner whenever I get the resources to. Um, but this is pretty much the design. I'm going to make a whole tutorial video on how to make this. I think it'll be amazing. Um, but I'm going to say that for the next time. I do appreciate you guys watching this episode. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done today. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope to see you guys on the very next one. You guys have a good one. Peace.